Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Burke and this is Wizards Weekly Live. For those who don't remember, this is a show that takes an in-depth look at the people, places, and events of West Warwick High School. Today is March 2nd, 2020. Before we get started with the rest of the show, we'd like to remind you to help pack the gym tonight for the girls basketball team's first home playoff game in many years. The team went an impressive 17-5 this year and is setting its sights on the Division II championship. You can also watch the game right here on this YouTube channel. WWHS TV will simulcast the contest with I-91 95.1 MF FM. <laughs> Tip pop is at six. <laughs> the sophomores honors English classes taught by Mrs. Lisa Narcissi Stewart and student teacher Miss Amy Irons read George Orwell's 1984. Their project was to create an escape room based on themes and quotes from the text. The period three class made a room for period one and vice versa. Here's period three's class completing period one's room. After many long months of reading 1984, Miss Narcissi Stewart's honors classes, periods one and three, had to make escape rooms for one another for our midterm exams. Sadly, I was not able to film the period one escape room due to me taking my own exam. However, during period three, I was able to film that class. And so, after many hard and long weeks, period one started making an escape room for my class period three. We were divided into teams A, and B. <laughs> the first thing we were given was a map leading to our first puzzle. Both teams, A and B, had to complete this. <laughs> then, after a long period of time, Jordan finally figured it out. Getting caught on the wrap, just so you guys can all see. Okay, wait, do you want me to hold it? Sure. Mm. Oh, Jesus. It's caught on the wrap, Abby. Wrap. What if I break it accidentally? Does that count as breaking it? Abby's there, cringing at how we're breaking her puzzles. I'm trying not to. The saran wrap is over the bottom edge, but it's not like taped down or anything. All right, we have a thing. It just never comes apart. Ninety. So maybe we need to go to point ninety. Yeah. Perhaps. Alright, so nine. We still need to so figure out this riddle. Nine is that. <laughs> yeah. Which one? I think it's Yoda. Here. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. How about more specifically? Yeah, it's Yoda. It's slightly green and it's always taller. Well, Oscar does. Another square. Why do the eyes look like they have keyholes? Maybe there's keys behind the eyes. What does it mean? It's two words. Wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, what about the book? R. Oh, yeah, what if it's a book? Like the Dewey Desk book? Oh. Is that a multiplication? Maybe. I think it's no. I think it's a no. One nineteen point one. Uh, what eighty two? Yeah. Is that a? I don't think. It, does the Dewey system have that? Does the Dewey system have that? Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's just a book. <laughs> <laughs> On writing well, does this have anything to do with it? Um, 
stop reading in order to appreciate somewhere far away in the room, except the voice of the clock, read and reread every word. While group A did their puzzle, group B did their own. However, I did film the human knot that we were given as a hint. So enjoy. Um, you have to reach across the circle to form your human knot. After you're in your circle, reach out and hold hands with two different people in the circle, excluding the two people to either side of you. Each left hand should hold the left hand and each right hand. Hold left hands first. <laughs> left hands. So left hands, hands left hand. with yes. left now hand. Right hand. Right. right. What, a different person? Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Is everyone good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, untangle. now you have to untangle. Okay. Without letting go of each other's hands. <laughs> you can adjust okay. your grip, but so you, you can't you completely let first. go. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, no. wait go step, step under. Yep. Can you? I can't. Okay, hold on. Go, 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 that I've been and like twist again. So everyone in the end just has to be facing the same direction? What? Yes. Uh -oh. They have to. Why? I can join. Uh -oh. Someone, yeah, everyone go. Go under. Everyone just go. Wow. Look at that. No. And then shake it out. No. Just turn around. My arms are still crossed. Then turn around. Turn around. Can more every now and then uh, I get a little bit of a shake? Face that way again. So then, yeah, turn around. I feel like you can't. Yeah, so, what do we do? We walk this way now. Because I had them walk. Oh, wait, I forgot to do that for Brock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I walk. Alright, guys, I'm saying Gina, I'm walking. Oh, We're all walking then. <laughs> Yeah. Where? Let's go back. Yeah, right. Now we're forward. You can't do this without. Guys, everyone's handles so steady. I know. This is legit impossible. It's not impossible. Guys, what do we do then? Someone has to be facing or with arms twisted. Wait, everyone's saying you have to be facing. You're facing this way, but your arms are like this. So, hold on. We did it. And then just everyone turn like this. Back. <laughs> turn backwards. Turn back. Shake me. Or Gina, turn back. But then her arms are crossed. Yeah. And so is Gina. Oh, she sets teeth with you every morning. My, my toothbrush? Or tooth or toothbrush. What? Toothbrush. So it's green. So what, is it, what did the original hint say? It, is it brush a hairbrush? It, it, yes. A green and it watches you. It watches you. Due to only one camera person, I could not film the mirror puzzle that Group B was working on. Okay, so you're looking for a special book in one of the corners of the library. Then we set off to find four different books. Book one was located in the history corner. Good. I found a book. Yasmin found something. Two in the couch. It's the same one. It's red. No, because book three under the globe. Red all over. Oh. Where did he? In book four, in the newsstand. Oh, we so we need. Oh. Yeah, oh. you found it. Okay, so it's like a periodic table. We have group one and group two. There's two things for each. So who is in group? Do you have two? Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah. Then group A and group B split up to see who could escape the room first. You didn't. Are you really going to make me translate hexadecimal? This one. I live... What do these mean? This. This. Uh, you element. And you. Exit. 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 Oh, wait. Did we solve? Are we done? Are we done? No. No. It's not exit.
Is it not exit? There's something on the ceiling. There's letters underneath there. They're in the ceiling. There's a hole. In They're not in the ceiling. The whole Someone class is up. up there. Oh wait. It says A and B, but I can't reach. What? Wait. There's envelopes. Oh, there's watch a, out. Open the door. It's all person going through. Get both of them. I noticed those right when I walked in. Too. Oh jeez, this is probably something I shouldn't be touching. Oh gee, don't break the exit sign. <laughs> okay, B. B. I'm B. B. Then finally, as both teens escaped, there was a letter. He gazed up at the enormous face. Forty years have had taken him to learn what kind of smile has hidden beneath the dark mustache. Oh, cruel, needless misunderstanding. Oh, stubborn self, willed exile from the loving breath. <laughs> Two green-scented tears trickled down the side of his nose, but it will. But it was all. all all right. Everything was all right. The struggle was finished. He had won the victory over himself. He loved Big Brother. So now you may be wondering, what do we win for escaping? Well, everyone got a single Hershey's kiss. This is Morgan Judd with Westwork High School TV. And now it's time to take a look at some national and local news. In national news, Bernie Sander won the Nevada caucus in a landslide victory, securing almost half of the votes compared to second place former Vice President Joe Biden with 20% of the caucus's votes. A caucus is different than a primary, such that people stand in different parts of a room to count their votes to nominate a candidate for presidency rather than using a polling booth. In the wake of the disastrous Iowa caucus, which was riddled with technical difficulties and miscommunication, more eyes than ever were on Nevada to bear tangible results. Pete Buttigieg, who dropped out of the bid for Democratic nomination yesterday, was third with almost 14% of the vote. Elizabeth Warren was fourth with almost 10% of the vote, and Tom Steyer was fifth with 4.6%. Just this past weekend, Vice President Biden won the South Carolina primary, energizing his campaign just in time for Super Tuesday, which is tomorrow. On that day, 14 states and one territory choose who they want to represent the Democratic Party in the presidential election in November. In local news, people throughout the state, as well as West Warwick, somberly remembered a tragedy with the 17th anniversary of the Station Nightclub fire on February 20th. 100 people died in the fire, which started after a pyrotechnic display caused by a quick spreading blaze. Survivors, relatives of the victims, and other people gathered throughout the day at the memorial, which was built on the site where the fire happened on Coesit Avenue. Now let's take a look at some upcoming events. And that's it for this edition of Wizards Weekly Live. We'll see you all again soon, right here on the Westwork High School Wizards YouTube channel.